What's up guys? Welcome back. This is Nick up here at Maple Motors in Hendersonville, Tennessee and just got back from a test drive in a 1968 convertible Chevelle. This one does have the big block 454 under the hood, four wheel disc brakes, really nice car, aluminum radiator, power steering. We're going to be going over this car, point out any kind of flaws that I can find. That way you know exactly what you're buying when you get here. Like I said, check out that test drive video for sure if you're interested in buying one of these cars. We buy cars all the time, every single day. Check out maplemotors.com for financing information, wheels, tires, parts, accessories. We can also ship these cars all around the world. In this video, I'm going to be pointing out all the flaws that I could find. That way you know exactly what you're buying when you get here. We're going to start up here in the front and hopefully give you an honest description of this car. Right here in the front, there is some chips in the fender. Looks like somebody scratched it and touched it back up. The paint job looks awesome, though. It's got some uh, ghost stripes on it. The bumper in the front is new. The grill looks great. Headlight bezels are in great condition as well. The guy that works here always overfills our radiators and this one does not have the little bucket to overflow into. So we just cut it off and it's just kind of overflowing on the ground. I'll have to go up to O'Reilly's up here and pick up one of those buckets to put in this car. But yeah, he always overfills it, and it seems like every video that I do, all the cars that don't have that will spew it out on the ground. Like I said, it has the ghost stripes on the hood. It's in great condition. It's like a new windshield wiper motor. I couldn't get it to work earlier on the test drive. It looks like it also has the squirters hooked up. Insulation's under the hood still. It's pretty straight going down the side of the car. New tires. American racing wheels. Bottom of this door has been repainted. The bumper on the back's new as well. Dual exhaust out of the back. Weather stripping's been replaced. Nice little car there, leaving. Looks like somebody made this, put it in the trunk. We got the Dynamat in here. Or fat mats, what this is called. We'll give you some undercarriage shots of the trunk. Extra fabric. I went ahead and opened the trunk and stuff so I'm not flipping the camera around. Shuts down nice and easy. It's also got the ghost stripes on it. Beautiful paint job.
door handles have been replaced the mirrors have been replaced all right we made it all the way around let's check this interior out Speakers in the back, speakers in the front. The seats are in great condition. Weather stripping around the top looks good. Coming up on the door panel, it's in great condition as well. See they've already replaced the weather stripping around the door. carpet's decently clean go ahead place your bets do you think the horn works on this one little game we play uh, you can see where they had a floor shifter before I don't know why they put tape on it I guess to try to cover it up cup holder do a good job of that <laughs> CD player on the dash we do have the face to the radio see if I left the keys in my pocket here we're gonna go ahead and start it up I found them it's showing 65,000 miles on the dash can't stand behind that it's a 68 model the dash pads in great shape go ahead and start it up a little flooded out temperature gauge is not hooked up under the dash the oil pressure is the gas gauge was floating around on the test drive. Gives me an indication that it's working. I don't know how accurate it is, but it was working. Ready for the horn? No horn on this one. Windshield wipers, I couldn't get them to work. It looks like it was new under there, though. They just didn't have it hooked up right. Making sure that switch wasn't it. You also got a push button under the dash if you don't want to use the ignition. Blower motor's not hooked up. We're gonna go ahead and shut the hood down here. Hood comes down nice and easy. And it shuts easy. Sitting a little high back here in the corner. You can adjust that out through the hinges. All right, guys, I'm going to give you all some undercarriage shots. We're going to start up in the front, go to the driver's side, rear, and passenger side. We also have close to 100 detailed pictures, and the test drive video will drive over the camera.
I do appreciate y'all watching. If you want any more information, hit up maplemotors.com for finance options, shipping information, wheels, tires, parts, accessories, and please hit that subscribe button. I try to post videos every single day. Test drive will pop up the last 30 seconds of this video. Hit it, check it out, and give us a call. Y'all have a good one.